Okay, one more time I'm going to do another how-to video because I bought this chocolate fountain which my kids are dying to use and I tried to look up on the uh, YouTube on how to do the chocolate and everybody was just showing you basically this is a chocolate fountain you take it out of the box and this is how you assemble it and there you go voila chocolate fountain well I need more I need to know how the heck do I make the chocolate because I'm just a guy and I don't know how to cook so let's do the basics right from the beginning this is the box it's already been cleaned processed I got it at a thrift store for almost nothing. Okay, cool. So this is the tower. And then this is the structures which we don't use. This is the little auger bit that takes it up. And here is the base, which is really a heater and keeps the chocolate all nice and melty. It's got a little button that says high low and all that good stuff. So first thing is we're gonna Plug it in. <laughs> Through the process of magic, it automatically gets plugged in by unknown means. Okay, it's all nice and clean and ready. And on the button, I have got a... Of course, I'm in a dark dungeon. Somebody read that to me since Kaylee. I can't. Read what? What are those three settings? Off, heat, motor, and heat. Heat, motor, and heat. Okay, so we're gonna go with heat. <laughs> Get it all nice and heated up. Okay, now we're gonna put the little auger into the little spooky sparky thing. Come on, get in there. And then this has little three pins, one, two, three, and three pins here line up. So just put that in there, Wee! Behold, the chocolate fountain is now assembled and complete. Okay, that was it for my video. No, okay. Now the question that I always had is, how do you make the chocolate? I know you needed oil and I know you needed chips. I actually read the instructions <clears throat> how to make chocolate. Okay, so the first thing it says is three quarter cups of oil, vegetable oil, whatever oil. So I think we have just enough to do three quarter cup. Yay, three quarter cups. Put that in your handy dandy pot. Put this in the sink for cleaning later. Two bags of chocolate chips. We've got Ghirardelli's. Oh my gosh, it's Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli. <laughs> I have been corrected by the wonderful Christy, who, by the way, is very beautiful and very awesome. My kids are beautiful, but they don't want to be in the video. <laughs> Kaylee oh. already was. Kaylee. And the top of her head was. Okay, so put the chocolate chips in the oil. Thusly. Okay. Is it Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli? Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. That wasn't in the video, so it never happened. Somebody's eating chocolate chips. Then we take the pot <laughs> over to the stove, which I've already got heating. And there we go. They say don't use a wooden spoon because it has moisture and it does some funky things with the chocolate and makes it get all hard and stuff. So we're gonna use plastic. Okay, and the stove is going. So all that really has to happen at this point is you just stir it until it melts. This may take a moment or two. So in the meantime, we'll talk about sports. Sports. Yeah, you're funny. I hate sports. So we're not going to talk about sports. We're just going to watch the chocolate melt. Get it in there. Let's just look how pretty that looks in the oil. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, take some now, why don't you? And I'll let us all go wrapped up in oil. This is option one, by the way, the stove top. Get off it. Ooh, it's starting to melt already. Look at that. Option two is put it in the microwave. I tried the microwave, it did not work out very well. It turned into goo. 
and I wasn't sure what I was doing. So what I did is I took this semi goop glop concoction and I threw it in the in the uh, fountain thinking, oh, it'll melt it now. It, it, the auger just kind of like blah, 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 and it was horrible. I had to take all of it out again, remelt it, and then try it again. But afterwards, it was pretty good. We ate a lot of stuff. So it's almost as good as... Oh, look at that. It's already going. Big time. This is almost about the time that I got my deep fryer. And we deep fried everything from apples to sunglasses to whatever else I could get my hands on. Deep fryers are fun. I think this fountain is more fun. Check it out. Look at my goopy concoction now. It's still got a lot of big old chunks in there, so recommendation is that you just keep stirring this over and over and over and over until it all nicely melts. <laughs> Tell it my daughter. That's my youngest who's hoping to get taller. Although she's almost as tall as me. How are we doing here? We still got some thick pieces in there. So I just keep gently stirring it. Stir, 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 stir. I think another minute will be good to go here. Yeah? I think basically, I don't know if, I, I grew up in the 70s, so I grew up with the Galloping Gourmet. You're I know, yeah. Galloping Gourmet was always, in, he always had a bottle of wine, and he'd always show you how to cook with cooking sherry, and then you'd cook, and then you'd always have a bottle of, beside you, you'd pour a glass of cooking sherry, and then you'd pour some into the food, and another glass for you, and by the time you were done, the Galloping Gourmet was about three sheets to the wind going, as I want to. Anyway, I love him. I think he's dead. <laughs> so, we're going to be cooking until the consistency is that of liquidy base. Now, there's still some on the bottom that's sticking, and we want to get it all. <laughs> and I'm stirring, stirring, stirring. I can still feel some solid, chunky pieces on the bottom, so I'm just going to stir it some more. There we go. Wish I had some cooking sherry now. Yeah, I think I got it all. Okay, now, at this point, I'm just gonna let it sit here for a second. And I'm gonna come back over here to my duty key. More. And Turn it to motor and heat. So now my base is heating and my little motor spinning. Actually, for now I'm just gonna put it on heat. I don't want it spinning on the heat. Then I get my chocolate. Whee! And just pour my chocolate. And I will put all this chocolate over here in the sink for later. Now I'm turning the motor on. Behold, the chocolate fontaine. And now we're gonna throw it all away because the kids don't wanna eat any. Yet. Right, kids? What's a pot? Nobody? Fine, I'll take it. And now uh, it's got a little bit of room, so I'll just go ahead and pour the rest of it in here. We're going to use it up anyway and do strawberries, bananas. Rice Krispie Treats. Rice Krispie Treats. Oh, is that what the Rice Krispie Treats are for? Yeah. <coughs> Voila! And that is how to set up your chocolate fountain.
that's it for that. This is my how-to video on how to do chocolate fountain things because the ones that I saw online were terrible. Mine is better. Thank you.